Do you remember when Gypsy and Ryan were on the podcast called The Vile Files, which is ran by Nick Vile? Well, guess what? I couldn't help but wonder if you still had a flame for Ken. You were in a different relationship. A lot's happened. Even on that episode, Ken got brought up a little bit. Um, <laughs> what prompted you to reach back out? I did not expect the pregnancy at all. All of those little things that I wish I could have had growing up, I want to give to my daughter. I'm not this monster. I'm not the person that they say on social media. I'm not any of those things. I might not be a perfect parent. Nobody is. Let's call Kardashians. Have you kept in touch with them at all? Is there any part of you that thinks about the relationship your mom would have with her? This is a completely staged and orchestrated PR tour that Gypsy Rose has embarked on recently because she is promoting her book, which she has done the voice work for the audiobook version of, so you can listen to her book in her own voice. She's doing nothing to advocate to be a voice for change, to make a difference, to use her platform for the last 10 months to do anything other than bump updates and promotion. And if any PR company or manager or attorney or assistant or anybody that's affiliated with her team actually think that the public out here is so fucking ignorant and stupid that we don't see that, you have another thing coming. So Gypsy Rose is going to be on the vial files again going deeper because they didn't go deep enough the first time. No, it sounds to me like she's just promoting and promoting and promoting. And this time she has Ken with her. Um, for somebody who's never done this before, yeah, you come back into her life when she's got the attention, the fame, the following, the money, the PR, all of it. That's when you decide to come back into her life. Who the fuck do you think you are playing? We all see, we all see exactly who she is. We see you for exactly who you are. And I don't know who in their right mind would bring you on a podcast to not ask the hard questions about the lies, the inconsistencies, and this piece of shit defense strategy that has fallen apart before they can even say it. But to be an advocate and a voice for change, it means doing the groundwork, the field work, all the hard work. It is selfless. It is exhausting. It is, you don't get paid for it. It consumes most of your time, most of your day, most of your life. Gypsy Rose is not going to do anything that is not in service to herself. And nothing screams psychological egoism, megalomaniac, narcissism more than that. Anybody who can live and operate and move through life, well, I have a choice now. You do have a choice, but you have decided to, to really not make anything of yourself, to be self-sustaining. You want to be sustained by a man, by somebody else. And that's fine if you want to be a mother. That's fine if you want to be married, if you want to be a wife. But you have the ability and the platform to make a change, to bring awareness for other people as well, to change legislation, to change policy. I would say one thing to Gypsy. The next time you do an interview or a podcast or a news article or a TMZ, I want these people to ask you one thing. Please give me a list. Show me just one thing. Prove me wrong. Show me just one thing that you have done. One thing that has actually been on your resume for actual advocacy, for actual making a change for actual awareness for actual education i want to know just name me one thing just one thing that has not been you promoting your own tv show your own lifetime show your own documentary your own book your own social media just one thing if anybody can do that and it'd be a substantially real thing 